The final race of day one is the Classics Trial. It's a one and a half mile maiden for three rods. So it's a Derby and Oaks trial. At the top, Bad Manners, David Robertson, Fighting Edge, Paul Parsons, Grand Forks, Mountain, Vinnie Gerard, Kyber Pass, Paul Rhodes, Meshfi Ryan, Dan Hughes, Tower of Strength, Jim Murray, Trap Miles, Darren Thompson, Wassily Kandinsky, Leon Van Rensburg, Brave Spirit, Paul Parsons, Full Time, Munas, Heart of Oak, Joshua Sutherland, Highland Thistle, Jim Murray, Lasse Idea, Jai Bermanstein, Mandy Taranata, David Robertson, Monorail, Paul Rhodes, Noble Sensation, Munas, and Runes. For Leon Van Rensburg, so a big old feel for this one, and they started on a bend as well, so could be a bit of a disaster. And ready they go, and away they go. Let's see how those ones wide are going to cope with this immediate turn. Are they going to lose any ground? Looks like they might be doing reasonably okay. Heart of Oak has got the rail and has got the lead, but now they've been taken on by full time. Tower of Strength has managed to get across. Looks like Runes is going to get across to within about four horses width as well. So nothing's lost too much ground on that turn. If they're good enough to win a classic, they're good enough to win this. So it's full time in the lead. I'm um, Heart of Oak in second. Then comes Tower of Strength in third. Monorail is in fourth. Then comes Highland Thistle and Brave Spirit. Kyber Pass and Noble Sensation next. Then Grand Forks Mountain. Looking towards the back. Trap Miles is the back marker at the moment. They're already through the first half mile norm almost. And full time in the lead for Munas, I think. He was having a good old day today. Heart of Oak is in second. Then Tower of Strength is back in third. Stable Companion Highland Thistle on the inside is fourth. Brave Spirit in the pale jacket closest to us is next. Monorail on that one's inside. The grey in the green jacket is Gold Forks Mountain. The second Munas horse in the pink is Noble Sensation. That one is trying to get a little bit closer. The two Leon Van Rensburg horses have got a wall of horses to get through. And Dan Hughes is grey. Mesh V. Ryan has also got a bit of a block passage at the moment as well. But it's full time who's in the lead from Heart of Oak in second. Second gap of a couple of lengths, then back to the rest of them are just about headed by Kyber Pass and then Noble Sensation Tower of Strength. Meshfi Ryan has now got a clear run through and is starting to make some significant progress, but it's full time in the lead. Heart of Oak second, now the grey Meshfi Ryan sweeps through into second, squeeze for room, Tower of Strength on the inside. The other grey, Grey Fox Mountains coming through. Kyber Pass is also going well, fighting edge running a massive race. Noble Sensation is after that one, but it's still full time in the lead. Three for longs to go. Four times in front. Now coming up the centre of the track. Look at his fighting edge for Paul Parsons. Absolutely flying. Then comes Highland Thistle. Heart of Oak. Kyber Pass. Meshvi Ryan. Monorail is next. And his fighting edge is in the lead with two furlongs to go. Fighting edge from Highland Thistle. Full time now drops away. Kyber Pass moves into third. Wassily Kandinsky's finally got a clear run. And now it's Highland Thistle who hits the front. Highland Thistle from Kyber Pass. Fighting edge is now beaten. Heart of Oak is coming up the inside again to reassert on the inside rail and has retaken the lead but absolutely flying his full time again but it's Heart of Oak who's going to take it I think Heart of Oak from the fast finishing Tower of Strength and Heart of Oak wins it from Tower of Strength full time Bad Manners was never close to the finish neither was Mandy Taranata both of David Robertson's horses flying at the end look like they might be more like Ledger types than Derby and Oaks types the way they finished but they did have to come through a wall of horses but Heart of Oak takes it for Joshua Sutherland, Tower of Strength for Jim Murray was second. Full time for Munas was third. Bad Manners for David Robertson was fourth. And also took fifth with Mandy Taranata. And you've got to say, Paul Parsons fighting edge for a first season trying to run a massive race there for a while. And he just got run out of it towards the end. That one will surely pick up a handicap race soon. As long as he doesn't get walloped too much by a handicapper for a decent run. There, that's day one in the book. We're back for day two tomorrow.